What's going on, guys? Pegasus and the Wise Guys. You guys, you've been getting beat over the head by all those Master Duel, oh, the great digital reveal. You, you've already seen that already. You've seen that we're getting an online simulator. I like it. It's pretty dope. But I don't know if it's going to be amazing. You know, I'm always skeptical of Konami because Konami fucks a lot of things up. I'm just being real. You know we keep it real around here. I hope that it's dope, though. They did say some stuff about mixing the TCG and the OCG. I don't know, man. Hopefully, we all have a global game now. It's not going to happen. Konami's not going to do that. But I do like the idea. And finally, hopefully, we can put Dueling Book to bed because, you know, Dueling Book is terrible. But anyways, we got to talk about a tech timer. Today on Tech Time, guys, we've got to talk about Gaia Dragon the Thunder Charger. Gaia Dragon the Thunder Charger is a card that I feel is another additional Zeus material that we don't talk about enough. I saw it a lot in the Midwest, but I didn't really see it in a lot of lists around the world. Has it fallen out of favor? Yes. Now, why is it falling out of favor? Because Fortune Tune is a really, really powerful card that people are using inside of Virtual World and decks like that to be able to go into a Down and Magician and then a Zeus inside of those type of decks. But you can also use the Gaia Dragon, the Thunder Charger in a more versatile way by slapping it on top of a card like M7. I say more versatile, meaning you don't have to, you can actually pierce through something and you don't have to wait for a specific phase to be able to summon a certain card. Gaia Dragon, the Thunder Charger can actually be slammed on top of something like a M7, and then you can go from there. So you can activate an M7 effect, then slap it, and then go pierce right over something. That may be more useful and advantageous for you inside of a game where you may have given your opponent a Nibiru token and might have zero defense. You just never know. There's a lot of versatility within the card, and I feel like it was something worth mentioning. I appreciate you guys for tuning in. Make sure you sub, make sure you hit the bell, and I'll see you next time. I'm out. YG, baby. Have a good Tuesday. Hey guys, before you leave, just want to let you guys know that DCS4, the Dragon Rider Games event, is actually this weekend. Make sure you check them out. It's a dueling book driven tournament, super duper chill, laid back owner that holds really solid tournaments. Also in two weeks, there's a Rocky Mountain Collectibles tournament. It's a charity tournament where they're giving out Starlight stuff like Starlight, Lightning Storm, and other big time prizes. I would just try to check them out. We'll have people in the DCS as well as in the Rocky Mountains. Have a good day, guys.